Good morning, guys. Quick Sunday morning video. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Tanya Goldberg. I'm a professional hand builder. Um, I make sculptural mugs like this. And I do own a pottery wheel somewhere, but I don't know where it is. My guess is that my kids are using it as a nightstand. Have no idea. I use a bending wheel. And that's about it as far as the wheels go. This, this is the extent of my wheeling. So, um, I got a few products from a company called the Diamond Core Tool Company. Now, they have been in business for a while. Um, I was really late to the game, um, so I have only discovered them like maybe a year or two ago. And I love, love, love a lot of their products. I use their stylus tools all the time. As a sculpture, these are like absolutely, like I, I have to have them. Um, so I got this thing from them. First of all, can I just tell you? Their packaging, like I wish I could do that, right? It's just gorgeous. But check this out. So I got this thing from them. It is called, they call it sandpaper. It's called M5 Diamond Sandpaper, number 800. I'm not sure what the 800 stands for. You'll have to ask the company, but this is their sandpaper. This is Home Depot sandpaper. You see the difference? It is a completely different animal. So it is flexible. It feels like cloth. I don't know what they put it on, but it feels like cloth. It does not feel like paper at all. And it has a whole bunch of teeny tiny little diamond dots on it. I don't know if you can tell, you know, with the camera and all, but um, the really, really nice thing about this is that, so I do a lot of rim smoothing, right? Hand builder. I can do this so easily. It just folds right over that edge. You know how sandpaper, you have to like go like this and then like this and then like this. You don't have to do it with this product. You just go like this and it's like a, a little, you know, wet rag. You just go like this and your rim is perfectly smooth. I think that's pretty incredible. My other favorite thing about this is um, I hate throwing things out. This can be washed. I don't know how many times you'll have to ask them. I have no idea, but I know that I've been washing it repeatedly for several days now. And you just wipe off the clay and it's like new. There are no particles left in here. It's like brand new. Um, I've been doing it, like I said, for a couple of days now and, you know, to no ill effects. So, um, for greenware, I have a little piece of greenware. Super effective. It eats it up. Like literally, I can take this little round pinch pot and I can literally give it a foot within like a couple of minutes, maybe? I mean, here we go. Um, so I thought that that was pretty impressive, but um, I think it's meant for leveling mugs. I think that's what the company says to use it for. Of course, I never use it for what they tell me to use it for. I use it for absolutely everything else. But super duper effective. It's, it's very strong, like it wipes off all the imperfections very quickly. So it definitely cuts down on the time. Um, it's baby smooth, beautiful. And look, I'm gonna wash it again. <laughs> Pardon me, I get excited. Um, look, like I had all the green work, like clay in there. I just wash it right off. Like, how's, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? I thought it was, anyway. And I wanted to show you guys one more use that I have found for it. So the, I know that for a fact that they have products that you can use to grind down like um, glaze drips. I don't think this is it. It will score your glaze slightly, but you know, very slightly. Now, of course, this is by hand. You know, if you attach this to the wheel somehow, I'm sure it would eat away at it. But um, I found this cool little trick. So sometimes when we put lusters on, we have a couple of spots that, oh, you know, that wasn't supposed to be there. This will take it off. And when you do it by hand, at least, it will take it off really without scoring the glaze much. When you first do it, it's going to leave this like milky residue and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I just damaged, you know, it's so visible. You just wipe it off with your finger. And I mean, maybe a couple of scratches, but like, honestly, like, if you're not looking for them, you wouldn't even be able to see them. So I thought that was really neat. 
pretty cool use. Um, so yeah, overall, um, I, I am in love with this. I don't think I'll ever go back to regular sandpaper. Um, I love the fact that it's so bendable. I think it's my favorite feature about it. And the fact that it's washable, I love that. Absolutely fantastic. Good job, you guys, at Diamond Core Tools. Um, I'm definitely hooked on yet another one of your products. Yay, <laughs> yay me, forever customer. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful and I am gonna run because holiday commissions, I have kin loads to do. If you guys have any questions, just write them in the comments and um, I'm gonna send this to the company as well if they want to use it. Um, in that case, you can ask them directly if you have any questions for the manufacturer. You know, I'm, I'm not an expert. I just, um, you know, I'm a user. I just happen to love this little, what they call sandpaper, which is not quite sandpaper. It's much better. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.